Hey, what's up everyone? It's Grim here, and before I go on to sort of the main bulk of this video, I just want to do a quick recap, because it's like this huge thing that happened, and uh, <laughs> I've been sat there kind of dumbstruck. Last Thursday, obviously, we had the, the tragic news of Yote, and I did a video on that, and it was literally just, I'd watched Legend of Thunder's video, I did, and I just wanted to put my own video out there. Not for profit or you know because it was like the hot topic or any of that bullshit just because I'll be honest the, the Thunder video actually moved me and I wanted to do my own video on it and my god not only from my point of view but from the internet as a whole the outpouring from people um, even guys and girls that didn't even know Yo or watch his videos has just been immense and it would be nice if for once you know the outside media could look at this and focus on the positives of it. Now, yeah, there's been some dickheads that have done GTA videos recreating it and shit like that, and there's always going to be fucking idiots. In it. And it's not even, I don't want to say it's kids because it's not, um, but for once, let's not let the minority be portrayed as the majority because this time, far more of, <laughs> of us have been, have been outpourings of sympathy and and shock. So let's, for once, and I'm pointing at you, Daily Mail, and whatever, you know, your particular right-wing paper is that always portrays the internet, and, and us as gamers, or online media people, whatever, as fucking demons. You know, we are actually fucking decent human beings, but I don't want to join that too long, I just want to say, for starters, thank you everybody that left comments, thank you everybody that subscribed, it was weird as hell to see my sub count explode from such a tra tragic event, but it was, it, wow, that's all I can say, um, I don't want to do on that for too long, um, I want to move on to what was supposedly my imminent demise, and the fact that this huge storm was going to hit the UK, and I haven't put a video up now for pretty much the whole weekend, because destruction, and basically the four horsemen of the apocalypse were apparently going to descend upon the UK, and... From my point of view, I'm saying this, they didn't. Um, we had nothing. In fact, I have, outside the front of my house, I have uh, like two of these little lanterns. Um, it sounds tacky as hell, but <laughs> they're not. Well, you already would think they are. Uh, hanging off a porch, and they didn't even get blown about. And they've got glass in them. Glass didn't break. Nothing. We had nothing. So, um, yeah, kind of an anti-climax. I was alive in 87 when the big one hit the UK and and this was not a recreation of that so I understand though some people lost their lives and that a lot of people did have destruction and did get did have a lot of issues understand that I'm just talking from my point of view um, that I'm kind of I'm kind of glad it was an anti-climax let's put it that way um, just to quickly talk about the gameplay this I've jumped on some old black ops and the very first little snippet you'll see here I joined a firing range late um, died and then I was kinda like you know you're pumped up and you're thinking right I'm gonna fucking do some work now the reason I just quickly went back looked at ghost and then went back into my kill streaks was I was trying to see whether ghost protected you from counter UAV it's been a while since I played this couldn't remember so um, anyway it didn't look like it it did protect you so I just put it on so yeah, I'm running UAV, counter UAV, napalm, trying to keep it low, and just trying to do some work in this game. It does not go well, spoiler alert, um, yeah, sometimes you just cannot carry a team. If you want to look like a beast, you want to you wanna feel like Billy Big Bollocks, go back and play some Black Ops, because if you're half decent, if you were like a 1KD player in Black Ops, trust me, now you're like a 3KD player, because some of these guys are fucking bad. Um, yeah, just just watch and you'll see what I mean. Watch the final scores. I have a look at the final scores of my team. Um, I was going to make some corny link into that they all died and it became extinction, but I'm not going to do that because uh, it sounded fucking awful. But I will go ahead and say that coincidentally, just when it was leaked that we had extinction coming out, uh, I saw it on Charlie Intel, but it was on Instagram and all sorts of places. Basically, go Ooh, triple motherfuckers. I'll teach you camping up there. Um, sorry, sorry, I, I forgot about that bit. That was um, oh, that was a sweet moment. 
but yeah, so they put up this image, this screen capture, because people have already got the game early, obviously, um, of the extinction screenshot and the fact that you had to complete the first five levels of campaign, which I kind of like. I like the fact that you're forcing people to play the campaign if they want to play extinction, because a lot of work does go into campaign, and for me, the last couple of campaigns have been better than some aspects of the multiplayer, so it's kind of cool. You've got to play five levels of the campaign, then you get access to extinction, and because, I well, I say because, I don't know if it was all linked, it was all kind of, you know, just some smart advertising or marketing, but when these images came out of this leaked gameplay, or sorry, leaked imagery, because they only showed from what I've seen, the front screen of Extinction. Infinity Ward have come out and said, oh look, here we go, here's, here's our sneak trailer, and now here's our gameplay trailer of Extinction, and I've got to say, it looks fucking good. It's, I mean, a lot of people are going to say it's got that zombies vibe, it's got, I mean, it looks like basically, I don't know if it's round based or how it's going to work, because in the trailer, they put down this, like, machine I assume that's destroying a nest and the aliens will come to defend it they charge in and you kill them and then eventually this thing went boom and destroyed the nest now, I don't know whether it's gonna be that you have to run to then another location to plant this number one then wait waves come in or whether it's gonna be that that's that round done or that mission done and then you have to go to a new location I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work it's gonna be interesting to see and I'm actually, I don't, I don't want to go to T-Martin, so I'm super excited about this. But it is nice to see something different. Spec Ops for me did not fucking work. I did not like Spec Ops from Modern Warfare 3 or uh, Modern Warfare 2. Just didn't, didn't do it for me. Um, so, I'm super excited to see Extinction have a go with that. But, but the thing is, there's a lot of aspects of this that are really, really exciting me. Downside is there's news come out that there's going to be a 25 kill chem strike. Now, quite how that's going to work, I don't know whether that will be just basically a MOAB, so a chemical release on the map, or what, I don't know. Um, but rumours are sparking around that there's a 25 point, you know, chem strike. So we're going to get chemists now. Are they going to be chemists? They were mob mobentators, they're chementators now. I don't know. don't know what they're going to be, but they will be back. We will have... You know, guys chucking down their support ballistic vests and shit like that so that these chementators can get their chem strikes and get all chemmed up. But we are soon, to, well, as yet we haven't seen any proof that it's true, whether it's just somebody's made it up, but to me it sounds right, it sounds plausible. Um, it wouldn't surprise me, there's got to, got to be some bullshit in this. I mean, to be fair, I play TDM, and I don't think in the whole of Modern Warfare 3. And the whole of Modern Warfare 2, I've never been nuked, I've never been Moab. And that's not a testament to skill, it's just to get those in TDM is not particularly easy. Easy Tiger, you at the back, sit down, stop putting your hand up, going, Misa, Misa. I know you get them every game, guaranteed, without fail, I understand that. But I'm just talking from my point of view here, Easy Tiger, okay? Just, just sit down, I know, you're a beast, just, okay. Thank you. Just let me get on with the rest of this. Right, so yeah, we got the chem strike. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. As I say, I don't think it's going to affect me particularly. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll just have to wait and see. Like so many of these things. Also, we will have to wait and see about the graphics. Now, I am one of those that has gone for the Xbox 720. Sorry that I say 720, I meant Xbox One. Um, yes, I can see why people for so long called it the 720. That's because that's the only fucking there's any resolution it can show. Um, now, to be fair, I mean I've done videos on this before that I'd rather see great gameplay and I'd rather just have a good gaming experience than particularly have it has to be 1080 graphics. I mean, for instance, I've been watching some Twitch gameplay of the uh, Battlefield 4. If you guys see that, put it up to 1080, um, or put it up to Source, watch the guys who've got it on Ultra on their PCs, and the fucking console won't touch it. Console won't even get close to what these guys have got. You know, some of them are running it at 100, 200 frames per second. 
on Ultra, and it's it's stunning. It really is. There's some of the maps. Oh, just wow. That's all I can say. You know, we've got to look at this. That the PS4 is a fucking muscle car. It is a beast of a machine. It's got so much raw power. It's untrue. Except the Xbox One, on the other hand, it's like a fucking European sports car. It's got computers and God knows what in it. And it's going to take them a while to work out how to get all of that working properly. As I say, if it does end up being 720 but the gameplay just feels good and amazing, it's what I care about. But most of all, please God send me some decent teammates next time. Please. God, these guys suck. I'll catch you later. Have a good one, guys.